Just a quick one guys before we get into today's video, I want you to check out the channel's official clothing store, RFC Clothing. Each design is limited edition and is perfect to wear on a match day, on the terraces at Ibrox, down your local, or cozy in the comfort of your own home. Do browse our t-shirts by going down into the link in the description, or go to rfcclothing.com. Anyway, let's get into today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, hope you're all well before we do get into today's video as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Well guys, here to bring you up today with all of the latest Rangers news from the last 24 hours and yes, the latest update with regards to Ibrox is an absolute farce. Yes, Rangers now will hold further crisis talks this week about hiring Hamden for the foreseeable future as fear grows they might be locked out of Ibrox until October at the earliest. Yes, reports understand that Ibrox delegation visited the National Stadium last week to be given a full tour of the facilities as Chairman John Bennett closes on a deal to secure his club with a temporary home. Murrayfield has also remained a viable option for, but as we revealed last week, talks about a possible takeover of the National Stadium have gathered pace and those conversations will continue over the course of the next few days. An agreement is now close to being concluded and Bennett could make an official announcement next week as he rushes to keep supporters in the loop after dropping the bombshell news that Ibrox will not be fit for purpose when the new season begins. But Bennett will almost certainly be unable to provide us with a concrete date for when the ongoing refurb work of the stand will be completed. The project was managed by former chief executive James Biscrow, who has now left his position for a new job in Saudi Arabia. It understood materials needed for the renovation job will not be was not ordered on time and now unlikely to arrive in Glasgow until August because of unprecedented log jams in the global shipping industry caused by a part in ongoing conflicts in the Middle East and Ukraine. That means work that was meant to begin immediately after the final home game of last season on May 14th is facing further series of delays and is highly unlikely to be completed at any point within the next three Three months. Of course, our season, ladies and gentlemen, starts pretty much on the 3rd of August. We have that first Champions League qualifier. Whether we're going to be playing home or away, I don't know just yet, um, but we kind of knew that we were going to be locked out until August. But now we're going to be locked out until October, it looks like at this moment in time, and we're in an absolute mess, genuinely an absolute mess. Um, the, the team, the board, really, and I, I I try and keep a positive, you know, positivity within, within the Rangers space because, well, you know, the board are going down a different route in terms of our transfer recruitment. And to be fair, we have been mismanaged for a very, very long time. You know, people will talk about 2012 and all this sort of thing. But now I'm sort of modern times now at 2018 onwards. We haven't been managed by the best in class, really. It's been, a you know, a bit of a circus uh, up there in the Rangers, you know, boardroom, to be honest. There's people just coming and going. There's people who just don't know what the heck they're doing. And this, my goodness me, has been a massive bollock drops. Really, it has. It's, it's been it's been such a problem. But even to the end of August, some fans can cope with that. But now to October or to the foreseeable future, this is just an absolute mess. And Bennett, my goodness me, he doesn't come out and speak to the fan base. He's giving these exclusives to the Daily Record. He's speaking to the Daily Record about what's going to be happening without, you know, coming on and giving an actual briefing to the fans, giving a press conference and giving the fans that paid these season tickets. You know, Rangers were straight away quick to, to start selling season ticket books uh, when we were at the top of the league. You wanted to get that done, a money thing, but in the back of their mind, um, hadn't had a stadium to, 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 to give the fans to go to the games. And uh, now we're going to be in Hamden until October, by the looks of things, if we do get Hamden over the line. It's just it's just an absolute shit show. It genuinely is. It's really a shit show um, what's going on at this moment in time at Rangers. And yeah, Mr. Bennett just doesn't come out and speak to the Rangers fan base. He never does. Um, and we need to start to find out what's going on with this guy. But he needs to draw a press conference and update the supporters and uh, update the fan base that are paying the harder money for these season tickets to, to know where we're going to be playing football and why these delays are taken, why someone wasn't held responsible, why this is happening. And yeah, it just it just causes us so much problems, unnecessary problems. We've got so many problems as it is. You know, our rivals have just won three titles on the bounce. We bought a league title last year because we didn't buy a striker in January. Um... Loads of other problems with the mentality on the actual playing surface. Now we've just got this problem now with the actual pitch. 
and where we're going to be playing home games. And people are going to say, well, it doesn't really matter where you're playing your home games. It fucking does. We've got loads of new players coming in through the door. They need to be bedded in. The Champions League qualifiers are so important to this football club. 30 to 40 million pounds for us to bring in there. And we're going to be playing them at Hamden. You know, losing Ibrox. And people are going to say, well, yeah, you know, footballers can play on any pitch. Ibrox is our 12th man. It's proved it time and time again. So there's a big, big, a big moment that we might be saying goodbye to 40 million pounds worth of, uh, of money because we won't get through the Champions League qualifiers because we play right rotten at Hamden and we haven't got Ibrox to, to be back, you know, backing us up and, and, and that 12th man but it's an absolute mess it genuinely is and um, we just keep getting these exclusives from the daily record of what's happening and no one's being clear and transparent but you know going into this season new players everything else Champions League qualifiers on the line we're not going to be in, our, in Ibrox till October it's not looking good for our tie to aspirations and the ball's not even been kicked. Chris Boyd, of course, spoke about it a bit earlier on uh, last week and stated that we're already on the back foot. Already. Already on the back foot. The ball has not even been kicked. Players haven't even been signed yet and we're already on the back foot. And we might not even um, see another title come back to, to Rangers next year just because of this absolute farce of crap with regards to the stadium. It's, it's, it's such a shame. It genuinely is. Um, but just mismanaged constantly at this football club people in positions that they shouldn't be in um, and again that's the latest update today guys we're uh, apparently going to be locked down to Ibrox till October and we're going to be playing a Hamden which is absolutely diabolical mismanagement from uh, from Rangers again <laughs> it's it, Bennett's got to be the next one to go again I don't like to be to be people uh, telling people to go out the job and trying to call them to be sad but Bennett hasn't got a clue Hasn't got a clue, and uh, this guy just needs to be be going as well. We need a reform up the top of the uh, in the boardroom as well. But yeah, that's the latest news with regards to the stadium at this moment in time. Um, but yeah, an absolute mess is what I have to say um, about Rangers at this moment in time on the pitch and fucking off of it. But. Is what we can do. Now, in terms of other stuff, guys, there's not really much going on in the Rangers space. That was the sort of main headlines for this morning that we're going to be locked out. Um, however, I'm starting to see some murmurs that Rangers could be linked to or being linked to a loan move for Bobby Clark. Of course, Bobby Clark plays for Liverpool, uh, had one of the breakout seasons last year um, in the Liverpool space at this moment in time. Apparently, he's going to get a new contract, but RB Salzburg are also interested in bringing him on a temporary basis as well. Um, again, it's just being reported. Uh, no one, not the main source is really reporting it just yet, but just one to maybe watch upon um, over the next sort of, you know, couple of days. It could grow some legs. He is, as I said, did, uh, going to be having contract talks with Liverpool soon. But from there, we might see him potentially come on loan to Rangers. But we'll, we'll take it as it is. But uh, guys, that's all I've really got for you today. Do let me know your thoughts on the whole stadium situation at this moment in time down there in the comment section below. Um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and remember to check out our summer collection. Link is down there in the description or go to rfcclothing.com. Thank you guys. We'll see you next time. Take care.